this one is called the Osan Newbie Adventure. Osan meaning boomer, old ass man, newbie adventurer. Hopefully it's good. Let's check it out. Yeah. There's a I've noticed a recent trend with like um the anime industry realizing that the main character, rather than being like a high school or middle school student for the audience to relate to, because that audience from like 10 to 20 years ago has grown up and become like working citizens, right? Now they're like main character is gonna be like a washed up adult who is then gonna try to pursue their dreams to make it you know try to cater towards that specific audience too though right i mean it's a good theme it's just it's interesting to see this different like main characters who's not just high school students which i think is better this is native isekai I think so. The opening, the opening already sounds like a 90s anime, does it not? Yeah, like you. Oh, you think you're funny, huh? You think you can just come in here and just clap at me saying that I'm washed. Motherfucker, I am at the prime of my life right now. You think this shit's funny? You know what else is funny? A week long timeout. Goodbye. Okay, it's just like Kafka over 30. Oriharukun Fist, the strongest! So, it's not Isekai, obviously. This is just native Isekai fantasy. A guy? Named Rick, even the guild receptionist seems to know him before. And now it's like he came back after doing whatever he was doing before. And he's already pretty fucking strong, right? He joins this Odihalkun fist party that's gonna be like the strongest part of the continent. And he's already like one shotting things. So, like, was he always just strong? <laughs> Dark elf waifu. There's gotta be a reason why they're using like this kind of opening right now, right? Like if you listen to the soundtrack or like the song, the whole theme, the way that they're like singing it, it really does remind you of like 90s anime. Alright. He is fucking busted. Looking like there's a bunch of tournament arms too, right? Okay, that was a straight up gun. That was a that was a straight up gun right over here. The Oriakum party, the blonde guy uses a fucking gun, okay. Alright! I was wondering why the title was too short. Osan Newbie Adventure sounded good. And then I realized actually the real title is Osan Newbie Adventure Trained to Death by the Most Powerful Party Became Invincible. So, so basically, the whole premise of this one is Osan washed, realizes I want to try to be an adventurer again, joins the Oriakum Party somehow. I don't know how he gets in the most strongest part in the continent. They give him a fucking boot camp. And now he is just. Invincible, that seems to be it. I don't know how well this is going to be received by my audience. I don't know. I feel like um, we'll, we'll have to feel it, right? We're going to definitely check out one episode or so. And then if people actually care, we can watch it. If not, then we move on. But it seems pretty interesting. You know, teaches some themes that I think um, resonates in a lot of people's hearts. So never give up on your dreams.